My wild idea comes courtesy of Generation Squeeze. And it's an idea for people in this room and many more watching the video. And to introduce the idea, I want to start with a show of hands. Hands up if you're in your 40s and younger and you feel squeezed. Squeezed by incomes that are down thousands of dollars compared to a generation ago and housing prices that are higher. Okay, leave the hands up. Squeezed maybe by tuition that's more than double what it used to be, or childcare that costs more than university. Okay, keep those hands up. Squeezed maybe by the difficulty of finding a good job that's stable, or saving for your retirement down the road. All right, now keep those hands up. And if you're 50 and older in the room, hands up if you're, no, hands, keep them up. Hands up <laughs> if you might be worried about these things for your adult kids. Or you might have asked your adult kids or invited them to live at home longer than you ever might have dreamed. Or help them out with their post-secondary more than you might have expected. Or maybe you're just plain worried they won't give you grandchildren. <laughs> By the show of hands in this room, I'm here to tell you that you can look around and see that you are not alone. You can put those hands down now. There are literally millions, entire generations of younger ca Canadians feeling the same way. Why? Well, because the facts show that younger generations literally are working and studying more to have less. Not fewer cell phones, not fewer computers, not fewer big screen TVs, those things, they didn't exist a generation ago, but fewer fundamentals. Home ownership is down. People are less able to access home with yards for their kids to go out to instead of balconies. Many people are delaying starting having their families, having fewer kids than they might otherwise like. Some are abandoning altogether that aspiration. And we're trading these things for longer commutes and more time in the labor market to pay off bills. This squeeze is all too common for generations of younger Canadians right now, in part because governments are slower to adapt for younger Canadians than others. Did you know? Every year in this country, governments combine to do great things by spending more than $33,000 per person over 65 in this country on things like medical care and old age security that my mother and 99-year-old grandmother count on. But by contrast, we spend a fraction, less than $12,000 a year per person under the age of 45. And while governments may be spending less on younger people, they're leaving us larger municipal, provincial, and federal debts than our parents inherited a generation ago, and they're leaving us larger environmental debts too, through pollution and changing weather and other risks to climate change. Yes, behold what I like to call, ladies and gentlemen, the burdens of generation squeeze. We are squeezed for time, we are squeezed for money, we are squeezed for services, and we are squeezed by environmental debt. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can squeeze back. We can squeeze that lemon that we've been left and turn it into lemonade. <laughs> That's the mission of Generation Squeeze. And our solution, our wild idea, is that it's time for us to build the most overdue lobby in this country, one for Canadians in their 40s and under. Yeah, a lobby. I know for many it's a word that's taken on a shady, a bad tone to it because we see big tobacco and fossil fuel companies lobby on behalf to get the, the interests of their shareholders represented, not citizens' interests. But I want to suggest tonight that lobbying with the right kinds of controls actually is a fundamentally important part of a functioning democracy and I might say even a noble part. And that's precisely why our parents and grandparents have been doing it for decades. For for years now, a great group called the Canadian Association of Retired Persons has been lobbying on behalf of Canadians 50 and older. Their great work builds on the tradition in this country of building public policy to address big problems for entire generations that we cannot save, solve alone. That's how we came to have our medical care and our old age security, with which we have, we've wrestled down low income status for seniors from one in three a generation ago to somewhere between five to seven percent today, lower than any other age group. So long as older Canadians have a strong lobby, younger generations deserve one, two. I know many are skeptical and cynical about politics, fed up with scandals, frustrated that that uh, party platforms may not speak directly to our needs, but that's precisely why we need to think and organize differently. It's time we all ask ourselves, how might a lobby make me more influential? And the answer is 
twofold. There are two kinds of lobbying, and Generation Squeeze wants to get both working for you. The first is the suit up approach. This is where we directly contact our public officials to raise our opinions and our evidence about the big ticket policy ideas and issues that govern the lives of millions of squeezed younger Canadians. After a long day of work when you are feeling tired, you can count on the fact that Generation Squeeze will have some of the best experts suiting up for you in budget lockups, in legislatures, with policymakers of all political stripes, suiting up and in support of policy ideas that can save younger Canadians literally tens of thousands of dollars while they're still young, with which we would all then have the chance to pay off the average student debt, reduce by years the time it takes to save a down payment for a home, afford a family, save and plan for retirement, and do all that while leaving at least as much as we inherited. The second kind of lobbying is grassroots lobbying. It's the spreading out apart approach. This is how we educate and mobilize one another to coordinate our reaching out to public officials, to thought leaders, to media, to share our opinions at the same time. In your spare moments in this time squeeze world, Generation Squeeze can help each one of us lobby as effectively as anyone else in the world of politics. Join forces with thousands of others lobbying at the same time and even inspire our friends and neighbors to join with us too. And by doing so, we'll bring to the world of politics the one asset that can outcompete the power of money in a democracy, genuine people power. By building together, the Gen Squeeze lobby, the hero in waiting in all of us, can become a change maker on a grand national scale. Heroes who squeeze back for ourselves, our families, our friends and our communities. Heroes who want the chance to live up to our potential and the opportunity to work together to leave our country and our planet better off than we found it. Canada's economy produces more prosperity than it ever has before, and yet too many younger Canadians feel like they can't make a go of it where they grew up or where they trained. We need heroes to change that. Canada's prosperity produces more, Canada's economy produces more prosperity than ever before, and yet too many younger Canadians feel like they can't afford to start a family or don't have enough time when they do. We need heroes to change that. Canada's economy produces more prosperity than ever before, and yet we're leaving disproportionately the cost of cleaning up our air, our water, our soil, and deal with the risks of climate change to younger generations and the kids they're gonna have. We need, younger, we need heroes to change that. We need heroes to make Canada work once again for all generations. Suiting up and spreading out may not sound like it is a sorcerer's wand or the one ring to bind them all or a mocking jay's bow, but it can be just as powerful. It's powerful enough to ensure that we safeguard the old age security and the medical care on which our parents and grandparents will depend while adapting for ourselves and our kids to ease this squeeze. Join us, become a lobby builder today at gensqueeze.ca. This is a time for Canadian heroes. Let's suit up and spread out so we squeeze back. Thank you very much. <laughs>